We are at the airport here in Manila. We're at Terminal 2. We are flying Philippine Airlines to Boracay. We just survived our luggage weigh-in and check-in. We checked in our big suitcases. And one thing we've learned on this trip already is pack less. Just pack less. The flight or the weight restrictions flying from Canada to Manila get a little tighter flying from Manila to Baraka. So we have a situation where we're having to leave some luggage with Tita Becky locally for four days while we go to Baraka and then we'll come back and pick up the luggage again. So lesson learned. Uh, but like I said, we've got our luggage checked in. That's That was the main concern today. Now we're just waiting for Tita Becky to uh, take three of our smaller pieces and then we'll head over to our gate and uh, try to get through security as soon as possible. See you soon. We're boarding our flight for Baraka. And how are you feeling? Feeling good? What are you expecting when we get to the... Okay, wow, that's a Filipina close-up right there. <laughs> close-up with the Filipina. That's, a, that's the title for this video. So, we're flying with some of the cousins, and funny thing, we booked separately. So we got PJ flying on Asia, he told me three times, Air Asia, I think. We're on Philippine Airlines, and the others, so there's five others, they're on Cebu Airlines. So, we're all, we're all taking off at this, oh, and your mom. What, Who, who's the seventh? Five. Oh, Tosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tosh. Okay, so I was thinking three sisters, which is true, but one of them is married to Tosh. So we're kind of going to have a bit of a race here. It's Cebu. Cebu is first to take off. Philippines will be next, and then Air Asia will follow. Michael's feeling very awake, very ready for the trip. And uh, temperature's not bad. I have not been blown away by the heat here in Manila so far. Maybe it's getting hotter at some point, but it hasn't been too bad. We, we were ready for hotter, right, honey? We were ready to like basically melt every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been okay. It's been good. Yeah. Okay, we're headed for row 44. Right back to the back of the bus. As soon as possible, my God. As soon as possible.
Philippines, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's probably PJ's plane right there. Saving us a walk. Getting a little AC. We're looking for mom. Ah, mom got by us somehow. She's very sneaky. This is the baggage check. So we're here in the baggage claim. Sorry about it. And this is probably the third or fourth trip that the baggage pickup team has made from the plane over here to the terminal. And it's just a massive crowd milling about. Most of the crowd has gone now because they've gotten their suitcases, but a few of us are left. And it's just the honor system. Everyone grabs what is theirs and just like a, a carousel. Okay, we've got one. Feeling hopeful. Waiting for two more. Have fun under the Boracay sun. Boracay. I probably said that terribly, but here we go. All right, so we get out of the terminal and we're at this shuttle center. And we already met somebody from the Crimson. And where's he taking us, honey? It is starting to protect the hair at all costs. Protect the hair. Get undercover. She's gone. She's out. We're staying in a resort called the Crimson. So we're thinking this might be the Crimson Shuttle. Nope, it's gone. But we have a friend from the Crimson who is going to help us get to the ferry. I'm not sure exactly what's about to happen here, but we'll see. We are now in a shuttle from the Crimson, and I'm assuming we are headed for the ferry. That's a lot of tint. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. So they, they make sure no passengers left, uh, wondering what to do. Oh, trikes. next year. Christine, how did you feel about the drive from the airport to the Crimson Ferry lunch? It was entertaining, right? Like, you kind of 
you don't know what's coming. All right, let's uh, let's go take a look outside. Let's see what we've got going on out here. Crimson in a heartbeat. gotten the word that our boat is ready so we're just checking the manifest here yes okay you got, you got my name too okay all right okay nice we're on the same boat oh are those are those windsurfers no Parasail, okay. I don't know the terminology. Could get it a little rainy while we're out there. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Michael getting comfortable. Okay, we got the we got the wavy dock platform here. I don't I don't think I've signed a, a you know, liability insurance waiver yet. So yeah. Oh, there's no lawsuits out here. Christine's like, come on, you guys, hurry up. Michael feels like it's a bit cold. I'm feeling it it's pretty, pretty nice still. I'm getting a bit of a smoky smell right now. So we're boarding, sir, boarding the MB Kai 88, the second. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And our friend is keeping the boat connected to the dock. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Michael, are you okay over there? I'm just at home. It's okay, she likes getting wet. Oh. How are you feeling, Christine? Are you thankful the window's closed? Sir. Okay. Thank you. Oh, just a little drunk on the feet here. No big deal.
the the mul the multi stage journey continues. Here. Now we're on a little uh, little trike or golf cart. I like a trike. Yes, planes, trains, well, no train, but yeah. Skyland and Sea. Okay. Hang on. I'm thankful that we're not, I'm thankful that we're not walking all this way. I know, I'm just wondering whether we walk. Maybe not. Okay, zero days until Christmas. Okay. Christine is doing the check-in. Uh, I do the important work. First look around the property. So we have checked in and the helpful staff here are going to bring our luggage to our room. This place feels very tropical. I mean, just the just the humidity situation. Very nice property. All right, let's do a little room tour. We have a nice little painting to greet us. We have a two sink restroom. Michael's on the phone with one of his buddies. We have a separate toilet and shower situation. Deep tub. And check out that view from our bedroom. We think this is called a sea view suite. With sea view, as in S-E-A view, not S-E-E, -E. see the view. That's part of it. Look at this patio, what? What? Look at this. Look at this. What? Wait, is this my bed? Yeah, it is. Oh. oh my gosh. Can we swim in this? This is our pool. Well, we're sharing it with whoever. We're sharing it with a limited number of people. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh. I'm jumping in this thing right away as soon as my swim trunks arrive. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Saul. This is wild. We have a walkout, honey. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. That was a hard kiss. Why? Why not the soft lips? Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Okay, we have some neighbors there. I won't uh, disturb their privacy, but that is just... Wow. It's like an, it's almost a private infinity pool right outside our suite. I'm just, I'm very, very happy right now. <sighs> okay, I'm already recommending this resort. This is making me very happy. I don't know if there's anything to see here, okay. Got a little safe flashlight, in case of a power outage. We have an interesting robe. Okay, Michael is fascinated by close-ups of my face. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop, just what? continue, continue. What are you doing? Continue. continue. <laughs> you hate it when I do this. <laughs> the 
This is, other too. this is Michael's sofa bed, already unfolded and set up for him. He's got some nice artwork. He's gonna be happy here. He's got his own private TV and Keurig. Wow. The bathroom is not private right now. <laughs> we'll pull these blinds down, but it's funny. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. There's the room tour, folks. I'm, uh, I know I'm gushing here a little bit, but... I locked it. Okay, that's no fun. 